Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another quick Databricks video. In today's video we will see how to store a PySpark data frame as a single file with a specific file name, that a specific file name that we want to define ourselves and it's not auto-generated. By default when you have a PySpark data frame, especially if you have a large one, when you save it you get multiple files and the reason is because it's a big data frame then you have multiple partitions and that's why you get multiple files. Now there are two workarounds for this. If you want a single file but with auto-generated file name then you can repartition the PySpark data frame and have to have only one partition but if you want to specify the file name yourself then you have to convert the PySpark data frame into pandas data frame and then save it with the file name that you want. So let's see that in action. Okay guys, here in our storage account I have a container called demo and inside this container I have a CSV file that I download, downloaded from the internet and it has about 50k records. Now if we go into our Databricks environment, here we can read the CSV file using the spark.read.format CSV and the option header equals true and then we load the data from the CSV file. Now let's run this and display the data. Give it a second for uh, the command to run here. Okay, here we have the results. We have year, industry aggregation, industry code, all those columns here, industry name, units, variable code. Okay, the data doesn't really matter right now, but what matters is the number of records. That we have. So let's print the number of records and also let's print the number of partition of this data frame. So we have about 50k records, right? And then we convert the data frame into an RDD, resilient distributed data frame, and then we get the number of partitions with the dot get num partitions function. And we have two partitions. So now if we write if we save this data frame, this PySpark data frame, as a CSV and we using .save and then we uh, provide a path, if we run this, you will see that we will get two files. So let's run this command and let's go back to our container. So here we will see this file, which is called multiple files. We have all the metadata here and two CSV files here, part 00, this one and uh, this one. So it's, it's a CSV file here contains about 25k records, each one, right? So because we had two partitions. Now, one way is to use repartition and convert our uh, data frame into a, one partition from two. Uh, if we do that, we will get the number of partitions which equals one and but it is suggested when we reduce the number of partitions to, to use coalesc as you can see here instead of repartition now what's the difference repartition triggers a full shuffle of data and distributes the data evenly over the number of partitions and can be used to increase and decrease the partition count coalesc is typically used for reducing the number of partitions and it does not require a shuffle. That means we don't have to shuffle the data. Anyway, with both, we can achieve the same result. We can create a data frame with one partition. Now, if we save this new data frame with one partition into this location here, we are going to get one CSV file with all the records. So if we go back here now into our container, you you will see a new directory called single file and here aside from the metadata we have only one csv file this part 000 with all the data now the data is not split into two different csv files it's only in one file because we have one partition here but as you can see this file name is auto generated we cannot specify the file name how can we do that we can convert the PySpark data frame to pandas so let's create it using dot to pandas command and here we have a pandas data frame 
and then we can specify using uh, to CSV we can also specify the file name that we want so if we run this command then we will get one new CSV file so let's go back to our container here as you can see we have a new CSV file called you provide the file name that you want and this happens because pandas is a single node framework so it runs only on a single node which means one partition which is the same as uh, with what we did here but in PySpark data frame we cannot specify the file name but in pandas we can do that and that's why uh, we are using pandas in this case having said that if you have a very big PySpark data frame you cannot convert it to pandas because it will run out of memory and as you can see in the uh, the difference between PySpark data frame and pandas data frame the main one is PySpark is a library for working with large data sets in a distributed computed environment while pandas is a library for working with smaller tabular data sets on a single machine so we will run out of memory if we try to convert a huge PySpark data frame to a pandas data frame so it this method is going to work only for relatively small to middle size data sets this is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something useful this is something very very practical apparently nothing difficult but something that you will find useful on your daily life thank you for watching please click the like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment and i will see you in the next one thank you